one in this world is qualified to tell you who you are and how your body works. Not no doctor, not no psychiatrist. If you think about it, it's really uh, crazy for you to believe that. You don't even know who you are. So how are you gonna go out your way to go to the doctor, go to a psychiatrist, for them to tell you who you are and what's wrong with you? We have to get in the mindset of educating ourselves about who we are. Is it so hard to believe that you can't teach yourself about you, find out how your body works. Is it so hard to believe that? You know, every human being is different. There's different things that works for different people. So for you to have some kind of issue going on with your body or mental, Why is it that you can't take the time out to learn about you? Now, I'm not saying that doctors are bad and going to a psychiatrist isn't good, but what have you done before you went upon yourself to make that appointment what have you done have you looked up certain foods and see if it affects your body are you giving your body the the right nutrients that it needs I talked about this before, about listening to your body and the signals it's trying to give you. If you're not going out your way to having a healthy lifestyle and at least trying and putting forth the effort, then you will always be at the doctor's. You will always go and see a psychiatrist. I believe we all been conditioned to just think that we can't do it ourselves. Is it so hard to believe that we can't? I know it's a lot more information that we need to look up in order to treat ourselves the right way. And it takes time and it takes work to do that. So don't be lazy and just, you see what's going on with you and you wonder why, what's, what's wrong and you just go straight to the doctor, you go straight to the psychiatrist and you don't even at least try. You don't even at least try to see if you can help yourself. You know, all the times that I have been to the doctor, I have been disappointed. Uh, out of all the years that I have been to the doctor, I have been disappointed. That pushed me to educate myself on how my body works and strengthening my mind. And now it's like, you should look at it this way. Information every day will keep the doctor away. Information every day on you will keep the doctor away. Take less trips to the doctor. 
why not take less trips to seeing that psychiatrist? And all you have to do is to work on you and figure out exactly how you work. Nobody in this world is qualified. Nobody. They're not qualified to tell you about you. So at least, at least take the time out to learn the basics. What foods you shouldn't eat. What foods make you feel good. When we feel a, a certain type of way, a lot of it has to do with a, a chemical imbalance. So why don't you go through what you need to take in in order for you to feel better? Let me tell you something. I did the same thing for myself and it's a wonderful feeling. Instead of antidepressants, I was taking all natural herbs to help calm my body when I'm when I'm in that overdrive state. Too much sodium will throw off your system. The majority of things that you put in your body it has it has sodium. And you got to be careful because a lot of different types of food have high sodium. You're only supposed to have no more than 1,500 milligrams of sodium in your body before it makes you feel some type of way. Only a certain amount that you're supposed to take in. So I encourage everybody to educate yourself on you, on who you are, physically, mentally, I'm not taking anything away from psychiatrists and doctors, but put forth the effort. You should want to put forth the effort to do that for you. I'm telling you, it's a wonderful feeling. Once I made that transition in my life, I felt so much better. It was a relief. I remember somebody was telling me about their condition and how they was going to the doctor and they told them to take this, gave them a certain uh, program and, and pills to help with the disease that they had. And that person looked at the side effects and they took a different route because they didn't agree with the side effects. And it was something similar to what I went through myself. But their their case was more serious because this was like life or death. And long story short, they looked up different ways to treat their condition. Herbs, natural remedies. So when that person went back to the doctor, they was looking at the test results and was saying, Wow, you're making a good a good recovery. Everything's looking good. The blood work is nice. I guess I guess what we gave you was has been working. Little did they know that person had a whole different treatment that they came up with themselves by just researching and finding out how their body works. So when that person explained to the doctor and said no, I didn't take anything that you gave me. I actually took some natural remedies and I went with that instead. It's a it's an interesting story. And like I said, I went through something similar with myself. So don't give up hope. There's all there's something out there that can get you through anything that you're going through. Again, I will say it over and over. There's too much in this world for you to try to have you feeling good mentally and physically. So let's come together and find out different ways that will help us feel that. And never stop. Keep searching until you figure out what works for you.